an era where pitchers dominated the game's landscape, Willie McCovey hit baseballs harder and farther than almost anyone who made a living with the lumber. Willie Lee McCovey was born January 10, 1938 in Mobile, Alabama. The son of a railroad worker, McCovey was discovered on the playgrounds of his hometown and signed in 1955 by future Hall of Famer Alex Pompez, who funneled talent to the Giants for nearly three decades. By 1959, the franchise had moved west to San Francisco, and McCovey had rocketed through the minor leagues. He debuted in the majors on July 30, 1959, with a memorable 4-for-4 four four day off Robin Roberts, and remained hot throughout the season's final two months, unanimously winning the National League's Rookie of the Year, despite playing in only 52 games. Over the next three seasons, McCovey battled circumstances, Namely, another future Hall of Famer, Orlando Cepeda, was also a Giants first baseman and learned how to hit left-hand pitching while fighting for time in the lineup. He was the final batter of the epic seven-game World Series in 1962, lining out to Yankees second baseman Bobby Richardson with runners on second and third in the bottom of the ninth inning. In 1963, the Giants moved McCovey to left field and the six-foot-four slugger responded with a National League best 44 home runs to go along with 102 RBI. Except for an injury-plagued 1964 season, McCovey would star for the rest of the decade as run production plummeted across the game. He led the league in home runs and RBI in 1968 and then repeated the feat in 1969, capturing the NL Most Valuable Player Award after hitting 320 with 45 home runs and 126 RBI. Bad knees slowed McCovey in the 1970s, but he continued to climb up the all-time home run list. He hit 28 long balls at age 39 in 1977, winning Comeback Player of the Year honors, and setting the stage for his 500th career round tripper in 1978. At the time, McCovey was just the 12th player to reach the 500 home run mark. He retired midway through the 1980 season with 521 home runs, tied for eighth all time with Ted Williams at the time. He drove in 1,555 runs, was named to six all-star games, and won three straight slugging percentage crowns from 1968 through 1970. Willie McCovey was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1986.